Each document is represented as a vector of terms in a vector space, in which there is one axis for each term. The space can contain terms from term 1 to term n. Using a vector space, we can identify which documents are relevant or similar. Document similarity is the process of using a distance or similarity-based metric that can identify how similar a text document is to any other documents based on features extracted from those documents, for instance, bag of words or TF-IDF. Similarity is a very basic building block for classification, clustering, anomaly detection, recommendation engines. And there are a few text similarity metrics, such as Jacquard similarity, cosine, and Euclidean distance. This metrics calculates score between documents or sentences, and score here means a distance between two objects. Let's look at cosine similarity. Mathematically, closeness between two vectors is calculated by measuring cosine angle between two vectors. In similar lines, we can calculate cosine angle between each document vector. The smaller the angle between two documents, the closer and more similar they are. If angle is close to zero, cosine score is close to one, and vectors are very similar. If angle is close to 90, cosine score is close to zero, and vectors are not similar. And finally, if the angle is close to 180, cosine score is close to minus one, and vectors are unrelated. Cosine similarity formula is a dot product of two vectors in the denominator and the product of the Euclidean length of the two vectors as a denominator. So if we have two vectors, x and y, the dot product will be the first element of the first vector multiplied by the first element of the second vector plus second element of the second vector multiplied by second element of the second vector, and so on. The length for each vector, recall Euclidean distance, is calculated as a square root of the sum of squared weights. For cosine similarity, we need to convert sentences into vectors. One way to do that is to use bag of words with either term frequency, TF, or TF, IDF, term frequency, inverse document frequency. And the choice of TF or TF, IDF depends on application. Sometimes TF is good for text similarity, and TF, IDF is good for search query relevance. Here's our corpus with two documents. First, we will apply TF. We'll use count vectorizer with parameter stop words. In the step two, we obtain scores by applying cosine similarity function to our vectorized corpus. And you notice cosine similarity score here is 0.66, showing that the documents are more or less similar. For Jacquard similarity, we need to remember the concept of intersection and union. It is defined as intersection over union, or the size of intersection divided by size of union of two sets. Jacquard similarity index, sometimes called Jacquard similarity coefficient, compares members for two sets to see which members are shared and which are distinct. It is a measure of similarity with a range from 0 to 100 percent. The higher the percentage, the more similar the two populations. Although it is easy to interpret, it is extremely sensitive to small sample size. Jacquard similarity is defined by this formula, where p count number of members which are shared between both sets. The percentage will tell us how similar the two sets are. So if they share all members, that would be 100% similar. And if they share no members, they are 0% similar. Let's look at example with our two sentences. In order to calculate similarity using Jacquard method, it is preferred that we perform first lemmatization to reduce words to the same root word. In our case, we have friend and friendly. They will both become friend. And drawing a Venn diagram of two sentences will help us understand the concept of Jacquard similarity. You see, both documents share five words together. This is intersection. The first sentence has three words that are not shared with the second set. And the second set has two words that are not shared with the first set. For these two documents, we can calculate Jacquard similarity as 5, which is total number of shared words, divided by total number of all words in both sets, plus number of words in the first set unshared, and number of words in the second set unshared. So 5 divided by sum of 5, 3, and 2, which gives us 0.5. 50%. Two sets share half of the members. 
Let's review some differences between jacquard and cosine similarities. So jacquard method takes only a unique set of words for each sentence or document, while cosine similarity takes total length of the vector. So we can say these vectors could be made from bag of words, term frequency, or TF-IDF. This means that if we repeat the word friend in sentence one several times, cosine similarity will change the score, but jacquard similarity will not. Now the word jacquard similarity is a good method to use for cases where duplication does not matter. And cosine similarity is good for cases where duplication matters when we analyze text similarity. Example for a good use for jacquard similarity would be two product description comparison where repetition of the word does not reduce their similarity.